Hello guys, Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can install PyCharm Professional in your Windows operating system and how to run any Python code there. Okay. So before I start this tutorial, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for never miss any update. So let's start it. So first of all, you need to open your favorite browser and search for PyCharm. And as you can see, you need to visit the first link, which is appear here, which is from www.jetbrains.com. Just click on it. And once you click on it, it will show you this kind of web page. But as you can see, PyCharm is the Python IDE for professional developers. Okay. So for download this application or IDE, you need to click on the download. And once you click on it, it will open the download page. But as you can see, at the time making this video, the latest version of PyCharm is 2022.2.2. Okay. And for install this, here is the system requirement. But as you can see, for install this, it's need 64 bit version of Windows 11, 10, or 8, and 2 GB free RAM, and also 2.5 GB hard disk free space. Okay. So now it's time to download the PyCharm Professional. But as you can see, PyCharm Professional is not a free software. It has 30 days trial. After that, you need to pay for it. Okay. But don't worry about it. Because in this video, we are going to activate our PyCharm Professional with our JetBrain free license account. Okay. So if you want to install the free version of PyCharm IDE, which is community here, you just check out the link in the description below where I show you the process how you can install the community version. Okay. So for download, just simply click on the download. And as you can see, it's around 470.51 MB. Just download it. So once our download is complete, just open the folder and here is our PyCharm professional exe file. So just simply double click on it to install it. Okay. So after that, it will show you the welcome page. Here you just simply click on the next and then it will show you the choose install location. Here is your destination folder where our PyCharm Professional will be installed. If you want, you can change the destination folder, but I don't want to change. And at the below, it will show you the space required. So here you also choose next. Okay. After that, it will show you the installation option where you need to do something. You need to choose here some of checkbox as like me which is going to create your desktop shortcut, update your context menu, create your association. And the last one is update the path variable in our environment variable path. Okay. So after that, you need to choose here next. And then it will show you the choose start menu folder. I just set it as by default and choose here install. And as you can see, our installation is started. So once our installation is complete, it will show you this message where it say your computer must be restart in order to complete the installation of PyCharm. Here you just choose here reboot now and choose here finish. Then it will automatically restart your PC. Okay. 
So once our restart is complete, now it's time to open our PyCharm IDE. Just double click on it. And after that, it will show you the import PyCharm settings. I just choose here do not import settings and click on OK. So then it will show you the license page where you need to activate your PyCharm professional IDE or you can start trial. So I have a free license account from jetprings.com. If you want to create the free license account in jetprings.com, don't worry about it. Check out the link in the description below where I show you the process, how you can create a free license account in jetprings.com. Okay. So for activate the free license account, just choose here activate PyCharm and get license from choose here JB account and click on the login to Jetprings account. Okay. Then it will bring you to the browser and tell you to log in their free license account. So I am going to just log in my free license account. Okay. So as you can see, our authorization is successful. Now I can close this page and return to my IDE. Okay. And here you also see this is our free license. Just click on the activate to active this. Okay. And our license is successfully activate. And here is the subscription date. Okay. So just simply choose here continue. And for write here any Python code, you need to create here a new project. Just click on it. And once you click on it, it will show you this window. At the left side of this window, where as you can see, how many projects you can open through this PyCharm professional. Here is the list. You can create here Python project, Django project, Flash, Google App Engine, Scientific, Angular, Bootstrap, HTML5, React, React Native. Okay. So from here, I just simply create here a Python project. So I choose here Python. And at the right side of the window, you can choose here the location. And write here your project name. And for run any Python code, you need to install the Python programming language in your Windows operating system. But if you don't install it before, don't worry about it because PyCharm Professional give you this opportunity to install the Python. You just simply choose here your latest or if you want you can choose the previous one. So I just select here latest Python version which is 3.10 and for install and run the Python code you just simply choose here create. It will automatically download the latest Python and automatically install it in your device. Okay. So just click on the create. And as you can see, it's download our Python latest version and install it. So this is the interface of PyCharm Professional where you can write here any Python code. Okay. So here they by default write here some of Python code. If you want to see them, just go to run option to run this. And here is the output of this default code. Okay. So I just simply close here all of the by default Python code and simply write here a hello world code. To run this, you need to go to the run option. And as you can see, here is our hello world output. Okay. And if you want to create here another file, you need to right click on it and choose here new. And as you can see, here is all of the file which you can create here. Okay. So I hopefully guys, you properly understand how you can install the PyCharm professional IDE in your Windows operating system and how to write here any Python code and how to run it. Okay. So if you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment and share. And if you like this type of video, 
don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon and i will see you guys in this next one inshallah thank you so much